All right, here with Andrea Lee, who just picked up a big win over Cynthia Calvillo. What were you expecting going into this fight? I was expecting to get my hand raised. You know, I just visualized it this whole camp, and I just knew that I was going out there no matter what, and I was going to get my hand raised. And, you know, I was going to uh, take her to the deep, deep ends of, you know, and I feel like I did that. Um, I wasn't expecting to finish the fight this way. You know, I thought that, you know, we would uh, – you know, finish it in the round, but uh, hey, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good with that. <laughs> what do you think led to you having so much offensive success tonight? It just seemed like like everything you threw was landing. What What, what do you think was behind that? Um, man, my team. You know, I had a. I, you know, I changed a couple of things up. You know, we worked a lot more. Um, uh, like focus. We did a lot of different types of drills where you know we're dialing in, we're focusing, and we used. Um, what are they called? Sim Snap text, yeah, snap text where, you know, you're, you're having, it's, it messes with your vision, you know, but it helps you to, like, really dial in on everything, and it just helps you to, like, see everything so much better. And honestly, I felt like I saw everything in this fight. And, you know, it's little things like that that really make a difference. It didn't seem like wrestling was a big part of her game plan, but she did get in deep on a couple takedowns, and, and then you, you stuffed them. Do you feel like she, she wanted to wrestle but just realized that she couldn't, or do you think that the, like, that, that just wasn't part of her game plan tonight? I'm not sure what it was, because honestly, you know, I, I felt like wrestling was going to be the, a part of her game plan, so we planned for it. Uh, maybe I, I can't really speak for her. Maybe she felt my strength, or maybe she just didn't feel like she had it. Um, you know, I, I was I was ready to be there to engage. I was actually looking for my own takedowns. You know, I was I was waiting for that inside trip, but um, it was kind of like we were both stalled out in that position. So it was just best to like break away. She did get me there on the cage, and she came awfully close to to getting that takedown. And um, you know, I just uh, like I said, I, I drilled a lot of uh, takedown defense for this fight. Where do you feel like you are in your UFC career? You've been here for a minute, and you've had some yeah. highs and lows. Where do you where do you believe you're at now? I feel like I'm transcending now. I'm, I'm where I need to be. Um, I'm just becoming a better version of myself. I feel like I was checked out there for a little bit. Like, just I needed to get things together here and here. And I feel like I've, I've gotten all of that, you know, back. And I, I just feel like I'm back on track, you know. And I'm going to continue to climb that ladder, you know, and hopefully get a, an opportunity at that title belt. How quickly are you looking to do that? I mean, she was ranked number five coming into this one. So how quickly would you like to climb that ladder you're talking about? Next year, you know, I mean, of course, you know, the sooner the better. I mean, I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> yep. uh, of course, in this division, you're always kind of, you have that measuring stick of yeah. Valentina, right? I mean, when you think about that potential fight, maybe next year, wh where do you feel like your game is in comparison to someone, you know, like her, a very dominant I don't think champion. that I could go in and fight her in the next fight. I don't think that I would be ready for that. You know, I do want to uh, prepare myself. And um, I, I, to Valentina is a tough opponent, you know, so I know what it's going to take, you know, to, to be able to get in there and beat with her and go, to beat her and to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. Um, so, um, you know, I'm I'm ready to prepare for that, but I do want to. Uh, next year would be great, but you know, everything anything can happen. I mean, um, Cynthia is ranked number five. I don't know where that puts me. Maybe it puts me at number five, but there's still quite a few other girls that are ahead of me that are also, you know, fighting their way to mm -hmm. get that shot. And um, I don't know. We'll just see what happens. And what do you think you need? Last thing for me, what do you think you need in order to go into an octagon and believe that you're going to be Valentina? I mean, obviously that's important, right? Is to go in and believe that you're yeah. going to win the fight. Is it, is, it, is it wins? Is it more time? Is it tr a certain level of training? Like, what do you think you need to, to have that confident ability? Like, I am going to beat this woman. It's, it's a lot of it's mental. It's a, a lot of it is belief and having your camp believe in you, just having everyone, your family, you know, your friends, and, and most of all yourself believing that you can go in there and get your hand raised. You have to be able to visualize it. And I think there for a little bit, you know, I was losing that visualization and I wasn't focusing on that enough. And I feel like these last two fights, that's all I did was visualize it. And, I, you know, I was able to get my hand raised in, in both these fights. And I feel like that made it happen, you know. Um, and then, of course, training. So you got to train. you gotta, you, you got to make a lot of sacrifices. And, you know, to, to fight Valentina, you're going to have to make a lot of sacrifices. I'll have to make a lot of sacrifices. Cool. Well, it was a great way to cap off the year. We'll look forward to seeing you Thank next you. year. Thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.